volcano coming through. Oh my goodness. Ah! Are you a dinosaur yet? Subscribe to become one now. There are fun educational dinosaur and animal videos every day. Hey all dinosaurs, I'm Dan and today we will be building a super cool safari park with a watering hole, waterfall and a volcano. But before we start, here's the command of the day and it goes to Mariam, Bibi, Hafiji and she says I always admire your enthusiasm and positiveness that you put in your videos. Dan, you are unique and you can reach very high one day. You make my day nice educational videos along with other dinosaurs. I wish you good luck in your future videos and always aim high. Wow, that is like the best ever comment I have ever read in this entire channel. And thanks for that amazing comment, Mariam. It really, really warms my heart. And just big thanks to all of you dinosaurs for supporting my videos. I just can't thank you guys enough. So let's get started. Okay, let's decorate this beautiful watering hole. What is a watering hole? A watering hole is basically a water hole where animals gather together to drink water. Yes, very cool. First, let's take a look at this brand new, pretty brand new animal which is known as the Okapi. This animal is very unique. It looks like a zebra but it is actually closely related to a giraffe. Super cool, and they are nicknamed the Unicorn of Africa. Do you guys know why? This is because they are so hard to find, okay? Very beautiful animal. I have never seen one in my real life. Oh, Cappy! Oops. <laughs> okay. Let me place this okapi maybe right over here. Okay? Okapi. Next, hmm, let's see. Take a look at this volcano. This is looking pretty cool. This is actually a DIY volcano, but I've actually ran out of the powder, so we are just going to use some slime and just pour this into the volcano. And hopefully, this volcano will be able to hold all the slime. Check this out. Oh! Wow! No! Oh my god! Oh my goodness, I mean. Okay, so here's the volcano with the slime dripping all over. Hopefully, Come on, please get into the bowl. Do not drip out, otherwise, the whole place will be in a mess. But this looks pretty cool. Okay, just that this portion right over here is seeping out. This is so fun to play with. I love playing with slime, they're always so fun. Okay, so we have a volcano right over there. To be honest, it looks more like a jelly. Okay, next. We have a beautiful animal and this is known as the Indian Rhinoceros. It is also known as the Greater One Horned Rhino. Okay, there are only about 3,500 of them left in the wild, okay? They are classified as vulnerable, close to endangered they can be found in India. So what you guys can do is stop buying rhino products. So you might be able to save them. So we have an Indian rhino right over here. I'm gonna place this guy. Hmm, where can I place him? Over here? Okay, I think we need more plants for this watering hole. What about this? Gonna be placing a small little plant right over here. What about some rocks to beautify this entire thing? This playset is from Schleich, if you guys want to know. Um, the waterfall um, came separately, and I have a voucher over here, and this is from Schleich as well. This Capri Sucres 
Okay, this is actually not Kaposuchus. This is a Nile crocodile. It's from Collecte. Looks very nice. I've used this in many of my videos. Next, let's try to place in some dinosaur, shall we? Okay. Okay, guys, we have some issues over here. The entire slime just drip out and my whole cloth, I mean this tablecloth is just smudged with slime. Take a look. Oh my goodness. Oh man. I have to clean this up later on, but for now we have no volcano. We have a volcano but with no lava. Okay, that's kind of sad. Okay, first dinosaur. We need a Conotaurus. A Conotaurus. A meat eating bull. Meat eating bull. Okay, Conotaurus. It's a carnivorous dinosaur. Shorter arms than a T Rex. Two horns on top of this head. Long, slender legs. Pretty fast dinosaur. And one of the most ferocious predators of all time. Conotaurus is gonna place him maybe. Can we place him in the water? Okay, maybe not. Just over here. Just enough for you guys to see. Next, I want to place a semi aquatic dinosaur. And what dinosaur is that? <laughs> we have the spine lizard, the Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus is one of the most favorite dinosaurs of many people. Why is that so? Is it because the T-Rex was beaten by the Spinosaurus in the Jurassic Park movie? Maybe, maybe not. So what we have over here is a quadrupedal dinosaur. I mean, a quadrupedal Spinosaurus, which means that he's walking on four legs. So this guy is very suitable for let us just place him in this watering hole, looking for some fish. Cool, looks pretty good. Next, I think we need some sea animals. Okay, or maybe not. Um, I think maybe yes. Okay, let's some let's have some sea lions. Okay, sea lions coming through. Sea lions, they are very intelligent animals. Um, in zoos, they're trained to perform acrobats, they can balance balls, they can do little tricks. They're very clever animals. And where shall we place them in this safari park? This is actually from uh, Takara Tomi. You can move the body. Let's move it, move it. Okay, so basically this playset, we have um, toys from Takara Tomi, like all sorts of different brands. I'm placing the sea lions by the waterfall. Can you guys see the waterfall? We have a vulture overlooking the waterfall. Next, let's have another animal. Shall we? Zebra! Whose baby is this? Whose baby is this? I can see. I mean, I can hear someone saying, it's Maya! So, yep, this is my baby! Hi, mom! I'm your dad, I'm not your mom! Hi, dad! Okay, so basically, zebras, they are herd animals. They are very social animals. They sleep in a large group, and they sleep standing up like this. And if a zebra sends a predator nearby, they will just signal, all the rest, I'm not too sure how they signal, probably they will make some noises. And yes, zebras, they are very um, beautiful animals, I love them. You can see them easily in zoos. Next, what can we place? Okay, oh, reminds me of something. This Indian rhinoceros reminds me of this Tyrachosaurus. The greater one horned rhino reminds me of the spiked lizard. Let me place this spiked lizard 
and where can we place this huge, huge, maybe right on top of this little cliff? Oh, cool. This figure right over there, it's from Favorite Co. Okay, next, let's place in some sea animals, okay? We have a great white shark. Ding, 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 ding. Do you guys know what is that sound? That is the trademark sound of jaws. Ding, 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 ding. That sound is like the scariest sound in the 1980s. Okay, we have the great white shark over here. If you guys do not know what I'm talking about, search for Jaws. J A W S. Search for that movie. It's a classic movie, okay, of a shark attack. Super classic movie. Pretty sure that your parents will know it. Let's open up this fantastic dinosaur set from Takaratomi, which contains. A Tyrant Lizard King, a Velociraptor, and a Mosasaurus! Okay, oops, the Carnotaurus fell to the ground, I'm just gonna be placing him in the watering hole. We have a Mosasaurus, the Lizard of the... Okay, this is a Velociraptor, not a Mosasaurus. We have a Mosasaurus, the Lizard of the Meuse River! This is not a dinosaur for sure. This is a prehistoric marine reptile, the nemesis of Indominus Rex, the one who actually grabbed Indominus Rex and dragged him down into the water. What do we have over here? We have T-Rex, the tyrant lizard king, the king of the dinosaurs. I'm just kidding. Okay, T-Rex is one of my most favorite dinosaurs after, I mean not after, um, one of my favorite dinosaurs. I also like Spinosaurus. I also like Eutyrannus. I like Argentinosaurus. Velociraptor. Okay. This guy reminds me of a vulture. Sly looking. Um, you know, a Velociraptor actually has feathers. So I'm gonna be placing him on top of this waterfall. Right over there. Can you guys see it? Looks nice. He can be good friends with the vulture. Next, I think we need more sea animals. What do we have over here? We have a beluga whale. And this creature right over here, this sea creature right over here, it's super, super cool. Its forehead is able to produce some, some signals. Which is, um, I mean, this dolphin is able to use echolocation and this actually helps it to see very clearly in the water and how cool is that okay let me place this beluga wheel inside the watering hole with the mosasaurus i'm pretty sure they can be good friends i'm just kidding if these two guys actually met i think the mosasaurus would just eat beluga wheel up easily of course, we need a lion. No, we need a family of lions, a pride of lions. And what do we have over here? We have a female lion. And a female lion is known as the lioness. She's my wife, Dan. Hi, hubby. Good. Let me place you right beside your hobby. And whose baby cop is this? Baby carp. Yes, a little cutesy. Take a look at my fingernails. Oh my goodness. They are smudged with like slime. <gasps> yucky, yucky, yucky. Okay, so we have a lion cop over here. And let me just place him on top of his daddy. Cool, looks super cute. Okay, next, let us open up another dinosaur, shall we? The Brachiosaurus. Since we have a tree, we need someone to actually fit on those leaves, right? And none other than the Brachiosaurus. Do you guys know a Brachiosaurus? They eat non-stop. Yes, like non-stop. 
eating and they don't even chew their food because they have to eat so much they don't have time to chew their food I'm serious okay you can go look it up so basically they just swallow the leaves as a whole leaf just swallow into the stomach and they will just grind them up over here okay this portion right over here and what the brachiosaurus does is that you know brachiosaurus also swallows lots of stones and these stones actually help to grind those leaves up in the stomach that's kind of amazing right oops earthquake next let's take a look at this hmm. Giraffe, the tallest land animal on earth. A close relative to the okepi. Okay, but a giraffe is definitely taller. Um, I think the okepi, okepi's height is about 1.5 meters. Okay, nice. So I will be placing the giraffe next to the brachiosaurus and of course the brach the giraffes always reminds me of the brachiosaurus i think they look very similar in some ways long neck herbivores um long legs <laughs> yes next what do we have over here pacific white-sided dolphin this is not a border nose this is not a border nose dolphin let's open this up Bottlenose dolphin coming through. Okay, the bottlenose dolphin. It's um. Why am I saying bottlenose dolphin? This is a Pacific white-sided dolphin. The length of it is about 2.1 to 2.2 meters. The biggest ever recorded was 2.5 meters. That's very long, super long, and the weight is about 75 to 91 kilograms. That's pretty amazing, and the heaviest ever recorded is 180 kilograms. Oh my goodness, that is super, super heavy. Whew. Next, let's have a look at... Which one shall we look at? Let's take a look at this. Looks like the lion has a challenger. This lion is from Takara Tomi. It's a brand new 2017 lion with a different pose. The pose looks kind of cool. The two front legs wide apart, looking super magnificent. Nice paw prints. I'm just gonna be placing this guy on top of this little cave. And this little cave is actually for small little animals like, like this. Just hang on. Don't go away, I'm trying to find... Yes, we have a viper. This viper actually came with this watering hole. So you can basically hide this snake inside this little tiny... I'm not too sure what to call this. A cave, a small cave. I'm not too sure. Lastly, I've shown you guys the tallest land animal. And now I'm gonna be showing you the fastest land animal. And it is known as a cheetah. This guy is known for his cheating. I'm just kidding. This is known as a cheetah. The fastest land animal. Streamlined body, it's super light. It's actually very light, just about 70 kilograms. That is pretty light for an animal, okay? And it can actually run up to a speed of 120 kilometers per hour and how fast is that i don't even drive that fast the speed limit in my country is about 90 kilometers per hour okay so this guy can actually run faster than my car i mean than my driving last animal that i'm gonna be showing you is this a white rhino which rhino do you like? <laughs> Which rhino do you guys like more? The Indian rhino or the white rhinoceros? Let's just say I prefer uh, 
the Indian rhinoceros because it reminds me of the Styracosaurus. But yes, they both look amazing. Okay, I think I'm about to end this video. I hope that you guys enjoy making this wonderful, wonderful, incredible safari on watering hole waterfall with a volcano playset. And if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe. Just click on the red button and press the little bell icon to receive notifications whenever I upload a video. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up, share it, leave me a comment, and your comment might be selected for the next video. Thanks for your amazing support. I hope to see you guys tomorrow in the next video. But before you go, wanna check out the previous video right over here. Subscribe over here. Okay, watch another video right over here. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye. Whew. Plenty of cleaning up to do. Oh my goodness. Complaining, complaining, then you always complain. Okay, goodbye guys. Thanks for watching.